And with that, I yield back the balance of my time. Thank you, Ranking Member Nunez. I will now recognize myself. Hey, bitch. Okay, uh, Ms. Williams, Lieutenant Colonel Vitamita Vegeman, thank you both for your testimonies today in this impeachment inquiry into the 45th President of the United States, Donald Jessica Trump. I would now like to read a portion of the July 25th phone call between Trump and Ukrainian President Zelensky. Trump says, we would like you to do us a favor though. There's lots of talk about Joe Biden's son. Also, we have reason to believe there was meddling in the 2016 election by some terrible people, very bad people, a woman named Chrissy Teigen and a very hairy man, Alex Baldwin. Terribly, terribly hairy. Whatever you can do, hang on, I have to make another call real quick. Yes, give me a 10-piece tenders with extra biscuits and two large sides. Well, then he just orders chicken. Um, did you find this call unusual? Yes. Yes. And is it true, Ambassador Taylor, that you were conflicted about the role of the president's personal lawyer? I was concerned about Rudy Giuliani's uh, statements. Um, Honey, could you kick it up a notch? We're on television. And so by the end of June, um, I had begun to hear references to investigations. Yeah. Really sell it to me, honey. Give it some pizzazz. As something that would have to happen prior to the meeting is, that... Here, maybe wear this. ...that President Trump had offered to President Zelensky. You know what? Let me help you out. Devin, give me my note, please. His phone calls ain't as perfect as the picture that he paints. He's full of so much crap, he's turning brown. We've read the memorandums and the transcripts and complaints. And let's be real, we all see what went down. His conduct was unethical, we know. But when it comes to influencing foreign government officials by withholding military aid until they agree to investigate his personal opponents to serve his own political agenda, <laughs> He's a hoe. Do you take a look at that call? It was perfect. Very innocent call. He's just a girl who quit pro quo. Blackmail's his favorite response. He'll badger any friend or foe until he gets what he wants. When it comes to foreign policy, he says his correspondence is top shelf. It was beautiful. But it's really just a fallacy. He's only interested in him. He's just a fool who gladly throw any old country a bone Long as they bow to his throne Since he can't win on his own, he'll quit and, and now the impeachment begins what you gonna do when Zelensky comes calling? Your numbers are a-fallin. What you gonna do? Supposing that you know that he's possibly hiding some dirt on Joe Biden. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when Ambassador Sondland corroborates what we already know? What you going do when Zelensky called? Pay for quid pro quo. Girl. He's just a braggadocio to any foreign ally. Do take a look at that call, it was perfect. When Ukraine called, he said hello, just when he should have said do pobacenia. When he recognized the rivalry, he told him that he wouldn't give a buck till they bend it to his bribery, which turns out is impeachable as fuck. I suppose he throws a fit when whistles blow. He's just a petulant kid. He'll gladly pro quo or quit. He'll say he won't, but he did a quid. A quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. Girl.